air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, romantic life, romantic situation, reading. This could be whether you're with someone, whether you're just breaking up with somebody, maybe you're a couple. This is anything about your romantic life, your love life, your romantic life. What do you need to know? What type of situation? What do you need to hear? Let's get into it. All right. Oh, so we've got Cupid's arrow. We have had faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or mating, but hesitation. So for some of you, this could be new love coming in, um, and you may be hesitant. You may be fearful of that because of past, you know, maybe issues or regrets or unhealed, you know, wounds from the past. A lot of you may feel like, you know, you're not sure. You don't know if you want to you know, put yourself out there again. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to, you know, waste your time. Um, but we've got to have faith because I feel like for a lot of you, it's time. It's okay to let, let it in. Um, and it's okay to work on the past and heal and, you know, just be available. It's okay. I'm getting, this is healing for you. This is stimulating for you. Um, this is like very needed. It's like just I'm feeling like for some of you, it's time to take a step in that direction. It's okay. This is like divinely guided um, and also healing past wounds. For some of you, if you're in a connection or a relationship with somebody, I feel like you could be like rekindling the flame. You could be um, kind of like finding a new passion together or discovering a new passion together. Um, something that comes as a surprise. Um, energy though that feels very destined so I feel like a lot of you this is like your soulmate I also feel like there could be like ups and downs hot and cold for some of you with a person and I feel like if you're feeling this way maybe perhaps like if you have somebody on the line or somebody who's being hot and cold with you in the dating world or you know you don't know how to proceed or if you should back off or not I feel like this person too may be feeling a bit of that energy that hesitation energy so they may be feeling the same way um let's see what else do you need to know about your romantic situation so we've got world and sh issues and stress. So I feel like world issues, like what's going on in the world right now, what's going on in the world today, um, this really gets to you. It weighs very heavily on you. I feel like don't um, buy into the fear part of it, the fear mongering. Um, I feel like try to take a break from the news and social media and I'm hearing take a break from like Instagram, Facebook, like take a break. I feel like there's a lot of, you know, information out there. There's a lot to hear. There's a lot to take in. And I feel like these world issues really weigh on, you know, your empathy or the empath in you. So it's okay to take a break. And that could definitely, you know, complicate things in your romantic life. So we've got work life, home life. So there could be an imbalance of work life, home life. Like you could have too many stresses in your home life or you could be not in the ideal situation in your home life or work life. Um, it could be just domestic stress. Uh, just you, maybe where you live or the people that you live around or there could just be an imbalance where maybe you work too much and you're not home enough. There's just some type of imbalance here that could definitely, you know, create waves in a connection or a relationship. Um, this is like not enough rec time, not enough fun time. So if you're in a relationship, have more fun together, do more things together. Um, you know, try things, new things together that are stimulating, that are fun, um, that make you guys laugh, that, you know, put some happiness into your life. And for a lot of you, this is, if you're single, trying to make more time for, you know, rec time and meeting people and having fun and having a good time. And try not to let those world stress issues, you know, interfere too much either. What's one more message we've got here? So we've got abandonment issue as well. So this is a little bit deeper of an issue. This could be something like from childhood. This could be from like an ex, ex-partner, like a relationship that ended really badly. And it kind of, you know, weighed very heavily on your mind. Maybe this is old. Maybe this is a newer wound or a newer issue. But there's a fear here to be hurt. There's a fear here, deep underlying kind of... Um, you know, through this all around your romantic life. This could be past issues with people. This could be current issues with people, issues in current relationships or past relationships. There is sort of like a root here to all of it. So I hope that these messages help. 
and let me know if these resonated and like and follow for more messages like this.